pour out of Detroit, and every year more and more miles of highway are built for them to run on. Did you ever wonder what happens to all these cars? Happens to a lot of them. And it's always the other guy's fault. You notice that? Junkyard like this where the still usable parts are pulled off and sold. The car bodies are smashed and flattened, mainly for transportation purposes, because more of them can be piled onto trucks and hauled that way. Spit out in pieces no bigger than a quarter. And this action goes on all after day. And at the harbor nearby, I saw a huge pile of little tiny bits that would completely cover a two-story house. 6,000 automobiles. And from here, they go to Japan or Germany, melted down and back as Datsuns or Volkswagens. But not all the old cars and trucks meet that action or other kind of business. Fred Finn had a heck of a time talk, and you'll see many old cars bought up by truly Nolan Pest. Still another type of old car that gets cleaned up, shined up, and put on a shelf as some valuable trophy. Richard Adams of La Mesa is a collector of autos, and there are thousands of members of antique car clubs and horseless carriage clubs all around the world. Some in Dick's collection are very old, like this 1910 Packard, and some are not so old. He has a French Bugatti racing car and a kiddie-sized Bugatti that's almost an exact replica. A Mercedes-Benz touring car that looks like it might have belonged to Adolf Hitler, but didn't. And a huge old Rolls-Royce town car. But I asked Dick if he'd take me for a ride in this old Packard. And after a few...